Welcome to this quick tour of FAIR Content's platform for organizations called FAIR Content for Teams. In this video, we'll explore how you can securely manage, organize and retrieve contents um, that were captured through the FAIR Content app in the field. We'll also show how you can manage licenses and invite users to use the app through your organization's account. Start by visiting the website and clicking on Login. You'll then be redirected to the login screens where you can sign up with your um, account or if you have, haven't, don't have one yet, sign up to get a new one and create your first organizations. Once you're logged in, um, you can move to the account in question and on the left side in the navigation move to Fair Content tab. In the Users and Licenses dashboard you can manage your license and invite your users. Uh, you see here on the top a section where you see all the active licenses that you have and how many are occupied by, by existing users. At any time you can manage your plans, plan, upgrade, downgrade to other plans or get more and uh, or less licenses. If you're ready to invite your first users or want to invite another one, just click on a new user and add their contact details. Once all the information is added, click on invite user and to send the email to the specific user. You now see that this user is part of the organization account and their status is pending. The user will now receive an email with a QR code or a link to activate the app um, under your organization's license. Once the user accepts the invitation on their phone using the Fair Consent app, their status will switch to active. The second section on the panel is the content management section. Here you'll see all the content projects that were created and uploaded to the Fair Consent panel once completed on the app by your content collectors. You can click on a, on a project and then see all the individual contents that were uploaded and their content types, being it a text, audio file or signatures. In the content management sections, you can not only see the contents that were created, you can also manage contents and templates or content terms for your content collectors to be used during the content content um, collection. Just add um, on a new content and add um, your terms as flexibly as you want. You also have the option here to upload text, contents, audio contents and very soon visual content that uses slides for use for, to explain the content, the content process even more accessible. You can also here edit your contents or publish them if they're ready to be distributed to your users. If you create a new content, content you'll come to the um, new to the content creation page where you can add the content name, um, add content text, upload a file, um, upload audio um, fi audio files, or um, these the slides I previously talked. About. While the users and licenses section is fully developed and ready for you to, um, to use in your business processes, some of the other functions are on the way and will be released in the coming weeks. Feel free to reach out for further questions or discussions also related to integration into your digital asset management systems or other business software. We're looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you.